Just to energize the trot a little bit. Good there. Super. Good. Then he really started to use his hind legs, yeah? We'll do it one more time. Good. Super. Now I'm just going to raise it because he's done that well. This will just help him push a little bit more. Energize. Good, super. And keep playing with the fingers over the trot paws, yeah? So he stays round and through. And slow him down a little bit, but active behind. Now play with the fingers. Good, good, super. Just change the rein and do it once the other way. Now just slow him down, but quicken the hind legs a little bit. There, good. Turn the outside shoulder first. Good. Super. Once more. Super. Good. Then did you feel him really use his hind legs? Good. And walk. We'll progress now into the canter ones. We change the angle of the pole so it's more of a, a circle and this really helps to work the body of the horse. We like to do it with a good forward canter. Good. Super. Good. Once more, not too much inside bend, yeah? Good with, push with the inside leg, but not too much neck bend. Good. And again, keep the, the activity through the poles, yeah? Just flick with the whip. Super. Good. Then go and change the rein and we'll do it the other way. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Super. Once more like that. And again, just keep playing through the, with the fingers through the poles, yeah? So you keep him round and through. Come. Super. Now keep coming. Yeah, good. And walk and pat him. I like to use the, this exercise for the rideability of the horses. Uh, it, the turns also is good to practice keeping them together and they're turning in the correct way as well as it helps the rider think a little bit quicker. Charlie's a very polite horse so it's keeping the rhythm through the turn with him. Yeah. The moment he drops off then it makes it difficult for Hannah to see a stride to the fence. If she keeps the rhythm then, it, then, it's, then that's really good. Good. A little bit more forward, yeah? Good, exactly. Up the canter now, ride through the turn, and now you can sit quiet. Super. Look for the poles. Good. Ideally, it would be good if we could trot and change the, the leg before the poles, but it's good because you've got the change over the poles. Good. Now up the canter, and if you Land on the wrong leg, trot and change before. Good. Good, super. Pulls once more. Good, good, good. And circle and walk. Super, yeah? That was really good. You just lost the canter a little bit on the turn there. And then, but you still had a good distance to the fence. So it wasn't the end of the world, yeah? But the rest was good. And just remember about your body as well, yeah? sitting up and looking over the fence so you don't get pulled forward on the landing. Good. Now ride forward. Now wait. Good. Super. Super. Look for the poles. Up the canter. Super. That was the one, yeah? Walk and pat him. Really good, yeah? Just let him stretch long and low. Much better with your body as well. Really good. I think we'll leave it on that.